give glory to the one who was, who is, and is to come. We worship the ancient of days. The I am that I am. The Prince of Peace. The Prince of Glory. The Lord of all. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. For all the good benefits that we've been enjoying since the global process started.
Praise the Lord. I say, Praise the Lord. Tonight is a wonderful night. And God is going to do marvelous things in your life. In every situation of your life today, there be a manifestation of God's power. You know why? This is the third day of the global crusade. Third day. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit are here in the fullness of their power. And I'm assuring you tonight, only one thing you need to do, like uh, Jehoshaphat told the people when they were going to confront the enemy at the battle, he said, believe in the Lord your God and ye shall be established. Believe his prophets, so shall ye prosper. And the Lord Jesus Christ told Mata, he said, didn't I tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God. Only believe you will see the glory of God. If you can believe tonight, you are going home with your miracle. Amen. Let me hear a louder amen. amen. Rise up on your feet as we pray to the Lord. Only believe and you will receive the best you desire from God tonight. Believe and not be afraid. Just believe. Father, in the name of Jesus, we glorify your name because of the good day you have given us today. In the morning, there were showers of blessing upon our young people. And this evening in particular, with a bright shining, uh, uh, shining sun, I know you will do great things. You will do wonderful things. You will magnify your name. You will corner your world. And as many as will exercise faith in the Lord tonight, they will see the glory of God in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, show us your glory. Come down in the glory of his power. Come down in the glory of your might. Come down in the glory of your goodness. And bless everyone, not only here, the Alpha Center, in all the entire globe. I pray tonight it will be miracle galore. Miracle galore. Divine healing. Divine support. But above all, there shall be conversions here tonight. There will be conviction. There will be conversion. And there will be continuity, healing, and deliverance in Jesus' name. If you believe, say it louder. Amen. Amen. Keep standing as we, as we sing together on P2 of our program. Since Jesus came into my heart. What a wonderful change in my life has been wrought. Since Jesus came into my heart, I have light in my soul for which long I had sought. Since Jesus came into my heart. I have ceased from my wandering and going astray. Since Jesus came into my heart. And my sins, which were many, were all washed away. Since Jesus came into my heart. I shall go there to dwell in that city I know. Since Jesus came into my heart. And I'm happy so happy as onward I go since Jesus came into my heart. Tonight, Jesus is taking over your life. Since Jesus came into my heart, since Jesus came into my heart, flows of joy over, over my soul like the sea billows roll since Jesus came into my heart.
and a louder amen global amen amen this is the third day of this supernatural deliverance through christ crusade global crusade with pastor dr w f Komoyi, taking place in the learning here the quarrel state capital as the alpha location can i hear you say amen we now want to go to the lord in prayer for the nation i read from psalm 22 verse 28 for the kingdom is the lord and is the governor among the nations so we want to go to the lord first in thanksgiving for the manifestation of his power for salvation of sinners healing of the sick deliverance for the oppressed incredible notable and verifiable miracles he has performed through his servant our father in the lord in all this global crusade for this past year shall we pray and praise the lord let us praise the lord all over as you are hearing now thanking god for all you have done in time past for this one year amen we now want to pray for global task and hunger for salvation among the heaven major purpose for this program i read from matthew chapter 5 verse 6 blessed are they which do hunger and task after righteousness for they shall be filled us the lord wants to bless people but those who are hunger and task so want to pray that there be global task and hunger for salvation that will lead to righteousness among all nations shall we pray open your mouth and pray earnest fervent prayer for souls to task for their own salvation and not to remain in iniquity in jesus name we pray can i hear a global amen we want to continue in prayer and pray that god will have mercy upon us as a people forgive our iniquities and heal the world i read from second chronicles chapter 7 verse 14 if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then will i hear from heaven and we forgive their sins and we heal their land the lord has promised so let's pray that god will have mercy upon our nation upon our people upon all the world at this time and forgive our iniquity and heal our land of all diseases all corruption all pandemic let's pray open your mouth in prayer i want to hear you pray all over pray again in jesus name we pray let us pray that god will arise and already the heart of the leaders and citizens of all nations with deep conviction for sin and for all unrighteousness deeds and the fear of God for repentance and holy living through this, this global crusade program. We are going to pray uh, Proverbs 21 verse 1 says, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord at the river of water he turned it whithersoever he will it. so the lord will turn the heart of people to do his will our leaders so that the enemy will not be using them want to pray that god will take over their heart all the leaders of all nations at such a time like this let's pray for them let's pray it is our prayer that we touch their life that will make them not to deviate, not to do the wickedness, but they will do the will of God. Let's pray. I can hear you pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. Let me hear you say amen again. 
God will answer our prayer in Jesus' name. Number four prayer point, that God will overrule the power of the wicked in all nations to break and scatter their dominion power and evil agenda against humanity in Jesus' name. I read from Psalm 110, verse 2. The Lord shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion. Rule thou in the midst of thy enemies. The Lord will rule. No Satan, no enemy can withstand him. He's the Lord of lords, he's the King of glory, he's the one that's worthy, and he's the one that is control of the world. Let's pray that God will be the one that will scatter all their plans and then overrule in their decisions. Dominating decision and power and evil agenda shall be broken down. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's open our mouth because the earnest, fervent prayer of the righteous men and women are much. Let's continue in prayer. The Lord is in control. He will answer our prayer as name, his name will be glorified. Amen. We shall also pray that the light of the gospel will shine throughout the world, in every territory, in every province, in every town and village. And there will be God's intervention throughout all the continents on the globe. I read from Psalm 57, verse 5 and 11. It says, Be thou exalted, O God, above the heaven. Let thy glory be above all the earth. So the glory of God will go forth, will be above all the earth. So we want to pray now that the light of the gospel will shine throughout the world, in every territory, in every province, in every town, in every village, and there will be God's intervention throughout all the continents on the globe. I want to hear you pray. Open your mouth in earnest, fervent prayer. As a child of God, concerned for the present world we are living, let's open our mouth and pray earnestly. God, with all of us here in this Alpha location and other location where you are hearing my voice, as we are praying, glory of the Lord. Let's pray for the glory of God to be all over the world, the light of the gospel. We shine all the impediments, all the hindrances, all the roadblock, or whatever we want to block it. The Lord will put them down. The Lord will put them down. Pray. Pray in Jesus' name. We pray. God is answering our prayer. Finally, let us thank the Lord for answering our prayer. Let's pray and praise the Lord. Thanking Him. He has answered our prayer. He is the one who has created the whole world. The Lord is the one all over the world. We praise God for let's thank God for answering us, hearing our prayer from this location, Alpha location, in Quara State. We are praying all over again, wherever you are hearing the voice. Pray along. Pray along. Thanking God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Let me hear you. Amen. Father, we thank you for the brief moment we have prayed for all nations on the globe. You are our Father. You are our King and Governor of the whole earth since we have prayed to you to rule and to reign over the world. We know you have answered our prayer. May your name be praised in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for this hour of our prayer for this location, for this other location. In Jesus' name we pray. Can I hear a final global amen? Let me hear you say amen again. Amen. God bless us. Before you sit down, give me a global hallelujah again. Shout a loud hallelujah. 
You know, when the children of Israel were marching around Jericho, on the seventh day, at the seventh time, they shouted a shout of victory, and the wall came in, come down. Tonight, the louder you shout now, the, the So what did I say? Many of us, we do not know what we are passing through, what we do not like in our life. I'm surprised. We need to take note of that, that this is what I don't like in my life, and I want God to take it away. Uh, that's the purpose why we are coming to church, but the mentor, you are still sleeping. That's part all what you are saying. Yeah. Yeah? What, what happened to many of us? Uh, right, Mary, do you watch film throughout the night? Why? But you know that you are coming to the church. I woke up early this morning. Uh, okay. God bless you. So please, let us... La okay, let me give you an assignment. Let me give you an assignment. I'm so surprised that as pastor is, is praying, we don't take... Uh, I see that uh, our brother take notes. And I know that God is going to answer your prayer in Jesus' name. I know that you too, you concentrate. He started, why are you so sleeping? Are you tired? So next Sunday, make sure that you, you pay me. Mm -hmm. So, Abraham, uh, I know you. Uh, Lisa, what happened today? But you should know that today is Sunday. You have Okay, so let us let us be taking note of that. I so appreciate he was taking note. He was taking note. Eh? Oh, God bless you. God bless you. So, what do I want us to do? do are, are you listening to me? I don't. I want our church to have impact in our life. When we get home today, I want you to lean down bef beside your bed. Thank God for God for bringing you to the church. You get what I'm saying? All oh, that I'm coming to your house, I'm bringing food, we are coming to my house, we are sharing food together. All, all of them are extra. I want God to see, I want you to see that impact that when I'm coming to deeper life, this is what God has done for me. You get what I'm saying? And I pray that God will, because I see your heart, I see everywhere, you get what I'm saying? That this is what, so when you get home today, all these places we always go, immediately we get home, that's not the first thing. I know us, immediately we get home now, oh, I thank God, God has relieved me from Pastor Matthew. Uh, blue, 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 blue. I know what we do. I know what we do. That's not the first time now. Uh -huh. no. So when we get home today, let us go and thank God that for God you have brought us to the church. So now you will now look at it like me. What is the what is pinning me in my life that I don't want? You get what I'm saying? For God to give you opportunity to come to the church, that's me. Something is speaking to you. There is, there is something, there is a salvation somewhere. So it's for us to get that salvation. You get what I'm saying? So when you get home today, I know every one of us will have pain. 
Now, take a paper. Moya, this is what I think. The doctor said that is troubling me. Write it down. You get what I'm saying? Write it down in your paper. So if you can keep it in your Bible, because I know every one of us, we always bring our Bible. Keep it in your Bible. Yeah. Whatever that is paining you, whatever that is that is your problem, whatsoever. I don't want to mention something so that it won't be as if I concentrate on in individual force. You get what I'm saying? And then if you want to, uh, about my own problem will not be your own problem. My own problem is that God give me freedom. Let, give me liberty. Let me able to work for you more. Let me have able to extend my ministry more than this. That is my own challenge. So now when you get home, you will look at, I won't just want to make an example. I don't make Lisa as an example. I just want to make an example. He has told me the reason why. Okay, like today, he was, she was snitching. I be snitching, that's what they call this. You will write it in the paper. I just make that one example that I don't want to be snitching more. So when you are coming to the church to, to, tomorrow, you take it along. You get what I'm saying? Like there's a something I always tell uh, him that I don't like. It. Look at how beautiful it is. Look at how prayerful it is. Look at, but whenever I'm very sorry to say this, please pardon me if I offend you. You get what I'm saying? Please pardon me if I offend you. But there's something I don't like about him drinking. And he knows that's what I don't like about him. So when you get home today and see the way you are praying, see the way when, when Pastor is praying, see the way you show your hand. That means there's something that is touching you. You get what I'm saying? So write it down. That God, this is what I don't like in my life. I don't want to be drinking again. But Dimitri, you know a lot of things that you don't like. You get what I'm saying? You know that, okay, this is what I don't like in my life. Uh, you, you write it down. And then, you say, I don't want this to be happening in my life. It may be asthma. It may be maybe the air is not passing through your, uh, your nose very well. Uh -huh. It may be maybe uh -huh. you are ill. So write it down. At it, it may be you know something that, oh, what this is what I don't like in my life. Yes, I can't control it. But I don't like it. It does not let me to allow to move with the people. You know our environment. That's what our own spectacular, our own uh, spectacular things. There are some, especially in your environment. I don't like that environment at all. Your environment. I like of you, but I don't like that environment. Uh, Lisa and the uh, Dimentry House and Moya House is even better. That your environment, if one does not have God, there's no way you will stay there and have Christ. It takes the grace of the Lord. Everybody smoking. Everybody, everybody drinking. Every day. In that environment, I don't like it at all. It takes me grace. It takes me that God has sent me on an errand to come to that place. I'm telling you. So, and then you look at other people. What makes these people better that does not make me better? You get what I'm saying? And you will write it down. This did this. I don't want it in my life again. You are not the one to do it because you are not the one that created yourself. It's God that created you. And if you, you present yourself before Almighty God every day, you are coming to the church, you are putting it to God. There are something that does not allow you to be messing up with other people. Write it down. And as a GS is preaching, you raise it up. 
Anytime PGS is, is praying, you raise it. You have seen a lot of, before we go, I will share a lot. I will be playing a lot of testimony we will see. So don't let us just be coming for the church only. We are coming for a purpose. And God is going to touch us in Jesus' name. Please, I love you. God bless you. God bless you. So please, let's do all what we can do. Eh? Our life will change for better in Jesus' name. It depends on how we see it. And then for us to listen, for hearing me, that means God is doing something in your life. It is for you to not accommodate what God is doing and to move with the Lord. And do not neglect the grace God has given to every one of us. God will bless us in Jesus' name. Uh, Brad, no, let me share it myself. I don't want you to say... Uh, I told us, you can't tell me that you don't have somebody to give. As you are going to the, as we are dropping you or collect your cloth together in the, in the washing something today, I know you are going to meet people there. Give it to them. Whenever you go to Food Lion, you go to Kruger, anywhere you go to buy something, you meet people, give it to them. That's a sermon God has given to you, and you are working for God. When you get to your house today, you see a lot of people there. Give it to them. Put them to a shame. I do not forget the assignment I've given, to, I've given to you. Write whatever you want in your life. I don't want to be drinking again. I don't want to be smoking again. I want you to change. It may be sweet. To you, it may be sweet. But you know that no doctor will say you should be smoking. Let us be sincere. I don't want to be mentioning this thing. No doctor will tell you that you should be drinking. No doctor will tell you that this thing you are doing, a lot of sickness that is going on in our body, that is good. So anything that we know that is not good, what do I say we should do? Write it down. And God is going to answer our prayer in Jesus' name. I want you to thank you for loving me. Because if you don't love me, you won't follow me. So I appreciate you. God will love every one of us in Jesus' name. Uh, I want you to know that I love you too. And you know, I love you. I appreciate you. You are my family. The joy of the Lord will continue to be with every one of us in Jesus' name. Uh, let somebody open his Bible. Open your Bible to Matthew chapter 6. I told us we are going to be using that to test us. Uh, do not forget Bible study tomorrow. You know we have more people on Bible study than the Sunday service. So please do not miss it. I want to see you tomorrow. Eh? I don't want to get there. Uh, my two brothers and the others so that uh, uh -huh. I trust you, you will be there. You hear me? I don't want to get there. No, Titi, are you working tomorrow? Yeah, um, I know. No. Oh, okay. I will, I will pick you tomorrow evening. Please. Please. Uh, so, uh, to you, uh, my dear brother, tomorrow, you get what I'm saying? Cut it off. I want to see you like I see you this morning in the evening. Please. 
bless. Yeah. You too. Like the way I see you this morning, I want to see you tomorrow. Please. So that all of you can come to Bible study tomorrow. Please. Eh? Matthew chapter 6, 1 to 4. Matthew chapter 6, 1 to 4. Matthew chapter 6, 1 to 4. You read for me. Matthew chapter 6, 1 to 4. Let us read. Titi. Stand up, stand by, so that everyone of us can hear you very well. Praise the Lord. Let us see the let, be, let us be seated. I've been telling us how to give to the Lord. God will help us. But most of the thing you can give to Almighty God is what? Your salvation. You give for us to the Lord that God 